Hello everybody, this is RCR Neon and today I'm going to give you a little walkthrough on the new base that I've made. As you can see it's a huge base and there's a lot, a lot of room in here. Um, the reason why it's already fully made instead of making the video of me making it from scratch is because I'm actually going to show it to you in game. Um, we've been working on it and building this base to see how it comes out and we wanted to uh, test it to see if somebody would rate it, see uh, how well it holds up. So uh, here's just a little, uh, little preview of the way it looks and uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope one day I see this build in game one of you guys can make it but as you can see before I show you the video I'm gonna give you a little a uh, little bit more information about it so there's only one entrance to this base of course here's the gate you come in and then uh, there's a uh, right here down the middle you come to this gate here uh, it's not blocked off or anything here uh, as you come over here there's uh, some stairs which you can access this uh, there's also a shelter underneath over here where you can use it's also protected by this uh, gate here and you can use this top uh, top shelter here or you could jump on here and you also have access to this shelter and then you come over here jump down and you have access to this shelter here and then you can just open the gate jump back down and you're over here uh, the reason why I did it like this with so many uh, shelters is because I want to make it hard on people that are trying to raid a base, you know, especially guys with ESP. I've experienced that in game, which kind of sucks because they know exactly where everything's at. But uh, what I did uh, once I built this base is I put stuff, you know, a little bit amount everywhere. I put containers everywhere. A little bit of ammo here, a little bit of ammo there. You know, I just picked certain contain uh, certain shelters, and I put the ammo there. So, if they use the ESP, they're gonna have to blow down a whole bunch of stuff to get hardly anything. So, as you can see in the back, it looks like you know that everybody will be keeping their loot here because it's it's in the back of the base, and usually, you know, that's where people store their stuff. But I recommend you don't do that just like I said keep everything scattered around uh, because it will make it a lot harder for the raiders so uh, it does take a lot of materials guys to make this but if you have a group of uh, four or five guys you know it shouldn't be no trouble it took us about a week to make it um, but that's because you know we weren't grinding for the materials every single day so but yeah guys I hope you enjoy it and uh, I hope to see uh, you guys in game and remember don't forget to subscribe tell your friends about it they have uh, trouble building bases I am gonna uh, be building a lot more designs and I hope you enjoy this one uh, which was really hard to make but um, it's worth it guys because you know um, like I said they if they blow in through here you know through the side blow down this gate they're gonna be right here you know what way do they go where's the loot you know it's it's a maze so it's uh unless they come in with about 2000 IEDs or a lot of ethanol you know they can seriously do a lot of damage but for what they're gonna get back to what they're spending you know you'll come out winning for sure so uh, guys don't forget to log out with your stuff with your ammo so in case you do get raided uh, they don't get much so um, enjoy building bases guys let me know uh, what you think about this design and uh, drop your comments uh, drop your subscriptions please and I do appreciate um, uh, your feedback I do appreciate your uh, your support and I just want to thank you guys for showing me all the love and support that you guys have been giving me uh, thanks so much
secret room. This was incomplete. Another shelter goes right here guys, but it's incomplete, so 